Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Leos for the week starting June 20th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigilitarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who have subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. I want to take a moment to thank all of you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my Leos, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. And this week I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do a three card spread and it will be past, present and future. Okay, so let's start with the past. We have the full new beginning ahead for you. Very exciting. Okay, uh, it's a major arcana. It's the first card of the deck. So there's definitely something new coming in for you, uh, my, my Leos. It could be in different areas of life. What is going on this week is there will be a full moon in your fifth house. It will be in Sagittarius. And when I say fifth house, it's because Sagittarius is fifth sign away from you, starting from yourself. You're, you're, you're the first house. And if you count until Sagittarius, it's fifth. It's number five. So it is your house. It's the house that you represent in the astrological belt. So it's the house of the sun. So normally, a full moon represents a culmination, okay? So something that you have been working for a while will now suddenly eliminate, okay? Or will be eliminated, I should say, okay? And that could be in different areas of life related to your fifth house, which is the sun. It could be love, romance, uh, speculative business for my entrepreneur. Maybe you're about to launch something. Uh, now you have completed the necessary. It could be in your education also. Maybe now some of you are starting a class, giving a class, or going to school for something, or about to go to school. Maybe you made the decision, or the admission's going to come in. But there's a new beginning in your life, and it seems to be some, you know, something important as well. Okay, so I'm very happy to see that for you in. Um, even if it's in a past position, because it's a major arcana, the energy is going to last through the week. And it could have started last week. Maybe you got the news uh, last week as well. But it's a great energy here for you, my uh, Leo. And let's see what we have in the present position this week. Ten of Pentacles. Yes. So it shows that this idea that you have will give you the security that you need. Because it's a number ten, it's... it's it's represent um well it's it's a dominant number okay so it's a dominant energy and i feel here that could be tell you that this new era that you're starting this new energy this new project wherever you're you know whatever you're putting your eyes on it's going to give you the security that you need okay because yes number 10 is about security pentacles are about security and the security could be in let's say you'll get more time okay now you'll have a financial security that's going to give you more time to go to school or more time to start a business or because you'll be starting a business, you'll be making more money. But it shows here that money should not be an issue. Okay. Actually, stability of money is there. Okay. Um, we have two people here. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Something just came up. It could be that now for some of you that have been started you know, separating or who you have been separated from your significant other. Maybe now, uh, you know, you have the divorce. The divorce is now confirmed. You're starting your new life. You may be now able to merge in a new relationship or maybe establish a new relationship here. But there will be a security. It's not just on a financial front, but because of this energy here, it could be a security that will give to your relationship as well. Okay, in your family, you know, if you have kids or, you know, uh, other areas of life, it's a great energy for you, my Leos. And let's see what we have in the future position this week. We have the seven of rods. Interesting. So you have a lot of work ahead of you. But I don't think that uh, Leos are phased by any work. Okay, you certainly have the energy to do the work. Okay, the seven of rods. 
Um, like I said, yes, I do feel that you have, because you're establishing a, a new road, for your, a new path for yourself in different areas of life, like I said, it's a general reading, then you are looking ahead or the work that you have to accomplish. But here, that you have accomplished already a lot. So for some of you, if you're starting a project, I feel that you know, you're not going to jump in and, and it's new. Maybe there's already something already there and you'll be jumping in on a certain level maybe ahead of some people or you know but it won't be just that you're starting this project i feel that there's something already established and same thing for a relationship if it's involving you starting a new relationship i don't feel that it's a new relationship i think maybe it's a relationship that you have been starting to uh, you know, to involve yourself in, and now you'll be jumping in, you know, in a committed relationship or things like that. You know, this is a general reading, so it, it may not be for all my Leos, because I feel this is a specific reading. But here, I want you to know that in the future, having the Seven of Rods is to let you know that um, you have a good position among maybe your competitors, or if you're facing competition, and you may not be, or it could just be that you're ahead, okay, as you see, he's looking for, he's looking, you know, um, yes, ahead of himself, so maybe you have a goal, and you know exactly what to do, you have a path already, um, you know, present for you to walk in, so, you know, I see sometimes there's some type of obstacles, okay, uh, but, like I said, I still feel that you're ahead, okay, in terms of reaching out the goal, that you're, it's not just the beginning, it's now you have been jumping, you have a huge jump, and that could be because of the full moon in Sagittarius, which again is a sister sign from you, you share has, you guys share the same element, so it's helping you to, and it, because it's in your fifth house, which is what you represent in the astrological belt, you're going to get a, you know, some type of help coming from the universe, a big jump. But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Leos. Let me know how this resonates with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.